So in this video, we'll look at how to install UAG. And configure. First, log into vSphere client or vSphere using vSphere client or web client. Deploy OVF file and configure network settings. Then we'll configure the unified access gateway. So I'm just logging into the vSphere, selecting the server file, deploy OVF file, browse to the folder where you have the unified access gateway. It should be available in your downloads or you have to download it actually. Click on next, provide the name. Select a single link in my environment. So select the data store where you want to deploy. Select the thin provisioning, the networks, static V4, NIC1, IP address 192.168.72.50, which I'm using it. DNS server address 192.168.72.10 Search domain alvhn.net Subnet mask Gateway vhext.alvhn.net the unified access gateway appliance name set the password for root user account and for admin account And if possible, enable SSH. Next, power on the deployment. So while this is going on, let's understand. Now, earlier the client was interacting directly with the connection server and getting the, the virtual desktops. Now, between the client and the connection server, so we have access gateway, unified access gateway. So which is an URL vhext.alvhn.net. So the user will interact with the unified access gateway. Unified access gateway will interact with the connection server. And unified gateway will connect to the virtual desktop. When a user launches a virtual desktop, then Unified Access Gateway will establish a session and does a proxy to the, the end user PC. So in our case, the, the UAZ name is in vhext.1 and 192.168.72.50. That is where we are given the IP address. So this can be deployed in two NIC, NIC cards or a single NIC or three NICs. So in this lab, we deployed with a single NIC where my access gateway and connection server, everything will be on the same 
नेटवर्क सो वाइल दिस इज गेटिंग कन्विकेट लेट मी गो टू दी एडी सर्वर गो टू दूल्स डी एन एस लेट मी क्रिएट ए डी एन एस रिकॉर्ड वी एच ई एक्स टी आईपी एड्रेस वन नाइन डॉट वन सिक्सटी एट डॉट सेवेंटी टू डॉट फिफ्टी एंड ए होस्ट दैट इज ऑलरेडी एक्सिस्टिंग इट्स नॉट से सो वी हैव टू क्रिएट ए डी एन एस रिकॉर्ड pointing to the 19.168.72.50 let's check the whether it is up yes so it is up let me log into this machine using a root i'm just trying to check whether i can pill ping the alvh and not yes so i can ping that domain i'm just checking whether i can resolve the connection server yes i can do the connection server i'm checking vhext.alvhn.net so i'm making sure that the communication and the dns is able to resolve the the host records right so we deployed a webview file and we configured the network settings now let's look at the configure uh so open browser and type https colon slash slash 192.168.70.50 colon 9443 that's where the admin portal is available proceed log in with admin so configure manually select it to so add services show we can see horizon settings click on this enable for origin enable for origin connection server url https colon slash slash alvhn srv01 dot alvhn make sure that we don't have any spell mistakes and the port number now connection server url thumbprint certificate as we are using the self signed certificates or internal ca so it will not be trusted default so to make that certificate trusted so we are using this one so let me go to the another window https colon slash slash alvhn srv 01.alvhn.net just try to access the url of the connection server okay click on not secure here we can see certificate invalid certificate invalid so we can see the certificate is been issued by the internal ca make sure that details take the thumb print of this one down when we go there we can see a thumb print go to the details once you go to the details then you go to the thumb print just copy this copy that one go to the what type sha1 equal to and paste the thumb print paste the thumb print so then so any certificate which is having this thumb print will treats as a trusted certificate ipv4 enable a peacock peacock and pick up external url 192.168.72.50 colon 4127 the port number so you have to specify the ip address of the the uag and the port number we should not specify the one 
go to the enable blast so here we have to specify the vh ext dot al vhn dot net colon 443 so the external url name colon 443 so i'm not enabling and you can enable a terminal just put it save it it would take some five minutes of time to contact the connection server and get the details in the meanwhile i'm just going to a connection server log into the portal Go to the view configuration servers. We can see gateways. Register a gateway. The gateway name. Whatever the name we gave for the unified access gateway. So we have to give the same name here. So during the configuration of the USG, we gave the name as vhext.alvhn.net during the deployment. So we have to give this basically the host name of that one. Now we can see the version of the gateway 3.7, the IP address and external location, which is available. Now let's go to the here. Let me refresh. Now we can see that we got external URL tunnel and origin destination server. Okay, now everything is green. So now let's reconfigure gateway settings in connection server. Now test the the client. Log into end user PC that is client PC. Add connection and test. So I'm going to the client to PC. Go on horizontal client. Let me remove this. Add the new server. So earlier we were specifying the connection server details. Now we are, I'm specifying the gateway details. So alvhext.alvhn.net connect. So it is giving a certificate error because we didn't deploy the authorized certificate on the unified access gateway. It is the reason why we are getting this. Continue. Now username and password. ALVHN slash fin1. Login with the user account. We can see yes, it is connecting to the gateway.
Now we can see the connection has been added and is able to see a dedicated disk. Launch it. Okay. Select the pickup. Let's check the agent status. Let's go to the desktop pools. Yeah, we have the available. Let's go to the client. Yes. So we can see the desktop is getting launched. Okay, link a desktop. Now the client is basically connecting over the remote. Yeah. Let me re log in. This will be because of the certificate issues. So this is how we can deploy the unified access gateway and configure to the connection server. And you have to add the connection server, the unified access gateway server to the origin client.